Introduction to Higher Education You are currently working through your schooling or at college and may be in years 9 to 12. What are your next steps and what do you want to do? If you're in years 9 to 11, you will need to make some decisions about what you want to study in years 12 and 13. Keep in mind that what you study at this point may well affect what will be available in future study. For example, if you want to be a doctor and study medicine at university, you will need to include biology and chemistry in years 12 and 13 in order to get accepted onto medicine. It is also worth noting that alongside your grades at A-level, IB or BTEC, your GCSE grades may also be looked at when applying to courses at university. The key message here is to ensure that you achieve your best and to your full potential to get the highest grades you are capable of. When you get to Year 12, you will need to think about what happens next. There are a variety of options for you, including studying degree programmes at university or doing a degree apprenticeship, which is working with an employer full-time whilst also studying a degree. The subjects available to you to study in higher education are vast. You can study subjects like those you will be familiar with from school, such as English, Maths, the Sciences, Languages, History, Geography, Business, Drama, Art and Design. But there are so many more that you may not have studied explicitly before, such as Astrophysics, Law, Nursing, Marine Biology, Zoology, Horticulture, Games Design, Events Management, Fashion Design. And courses also exist in unusual subjects, such as brewing and distilling, parapsychology, yacht operations, and surf science. There are literally thousands of courses to choose from. There are over 160 providers in the UK. Your local FE college may offer courses. Alternatively, many people choose to go to a university to study a degree. These vary from the large with over 30,000 students to the small and specialist that, for example, focus only on the creative arts. Some universities are city-based, often with different buildings in different locations, and some are campus-based, with all facilities, teaching spaces, student accommodation, sports facilities and cafes, bars, all on one site. You could choose to live at home and study at a local college or university or move away to study a course in another part of the country or even overseas. For those of you who want specialist training in the performing arts to become a musician, actor or dancer, you may want to consider a conservatoire. Online degree courses are also available. Study a subject or combination of subjects you love, taught by expert tutors also called academics, in greater depth to develop knowledge in a particular area and gain transferable skills recognised by employers, which can then lead you on to a rewarding career. Getting a degree can also enhance your career prospects and earning potential. Many degree programmes provide exciting field trips abroad or within the UK. As part of your studies, you may get to study glaciers in South America wilderness habitats in Alaska, or closer to home, the marine life off the Cornish coast. And much like you will be used to at school, other departments and staff will exist to support you with your academic skills, your health and well-being, and career progression. You will gain independence, especially if you move away from home, learning other life and social skills as you get to meet new people and make lifelong friends not just from the UK, but from all over the world. Student unions will provide lots of fun events to keep you entertained, such as weekly pub quizzes in the student bar or concerts from the less well-known to internationally known musicians. Or you might want to try something new in your spare time by joining a student society. You could join academic societies such as history, geography and law, creative societies like drama and poetry, or the more bizarre, like Harry Potter and hide and seek. If sport is your thing, there will be opportunities to be active for fun or to simply keep fit and healthy. And if you take it really seriously 
At many universities, you can be selected to compete in teams against other universities at a very high level. In summary, continuing your studies beyond 18 can develop your knowledge, enhance your career prospects, expand your life experiences, opening new doors and taking you on paths you'd never possibly dreamed of before.